Welcome to Stitch Imagery Workshop. I'm Kelly Nina Perkins and I'm going to share with you my method for turning a simple photo into a piece of fabulous fabric art. We'll start with a simple photograph and here I have some spools of thread from my studio. And I'm going to show you how to turn that into a watercolor painting with a lot of uh, fun collage effect. And anybody can do this, I guarantee you it's very easy. Then we'll scan it into the computer and when we're done we'll print it out on prepared fabric and I'll show you how to punch the color back up with some textile paints and some fun embellishment. When you're done, you're going to have a project that you can use for a variety of textile um, endeavors such as quilts, you could use it for a purse or a handbag or even a pillow. What I've done with mine is place them in a fabric book which I use as a stitched sampler so I can try some new techniques. Now I um, we're going to stitch a, a couple times during this workshop. We're going to free motion stitch actually on the watercolor paper with some black thread, so you'll need a sewing machine for this. And then we'll stitch again on the final image. Now I've divided this workshop into three parts, and you're going to need a handful of items for each part. In part one, we're going to go from photo to painting. You're going to need a pencil and a permanent marker and an eraser. You'll need some watercolor paper. Then you'll need a glue stick and a variety of ephemera. Here I've got some book text that I've ripped out of some flea market books. But you can use whatever you'd like. You could use even the daily newspaper or some junk mail you've got. Or if you've got some special ephemera you want to use, that will be absolutely perfect for this as well. Then you'll need some watercolors. I'll be using some liquid watercolors that are particularly radiant. But if yours are not quite as bright, you'll have a chance to bring up the color again when you scan it into the computer and then a brush. In part two of the workshop, you're going to need something called Bubble Jet Set 2000. And this is the product we will use to prepare the fabric for printing. You can get it online or you can, I even purchased this at my local fabric store. You're going to need a couple pieces of bleached muslin. Um, if your fabric is pre-treated, make sure you wash it really well with soapy hot water um, before moving on. And then you'll need some sheets of freezer paper and a bleach pen for a fun discharge pro project that I'll show you and some fusible webbing and some scissors. And then for part three, we'll add painting and embellishing. And you'll need a variety of textile or fabric paints. If you don't have those, you can use some acrylic paints. Those will work as well. I'll be using some mica pigment, but if you don't have that, that's fine. And then I'll show you how to use uh, some oil pastels in this. And oil pastels are a great way to add a lot of color to your fabric projects. We'll be using some stamps. I have both a commercial stamp and a hand-carved rubber stamp and a permanent stamp pad. Then we'll move on to fabric foiling. So grab some fabric foil and some fusible web with backing. And then you'll need a backing fabric for your project and some batting. And then we'll end with some embroidery floss and some colored threads. During the process, you all, will also need a sewing machine with a free motion foot and have black thread in that. And then we'll use an iron and um, you'll need a piece of Teflon to protect your work surface and your iron. All right, let's get started.